And we're with Maureen Foley, who is making fudge. Right. So what have you got in it? So I have two cups of sugar and a half a cup of milk and a quarter of a cup of cocoa. And I find Hershey's cocoa is different than Fry's cocoa. It's a different chocolate, but it's still delicious. So when that warms up and gets hot, I would, whoops, I'm not putting that in. I am putting in a half a cup of butter. I use Basel because it makes it healthier. <laughs> Right? So, I will put that in there now. And then, you have to bring it to a rolling boil, but you've got to be really careful. There's a fine line between having it a good boil and overboiling it and burning it. So, you, you know, you've got to watch it for the full 10 minutes that it boils and make sure that it's not too hot and it's not going to boil it. And then we just put on the timer for 10 minutes and then it's another process. Right? Now who, did, is this your recipe or did you uh, inherit it from someone or? Well, my grandmother, Deborah Foley, used to make, back then they didn't call it fudge, they called it homemade candy or boiled candy, right? And my grandmother Foley, we lived with them until I was about 11. And she, so you could go around the circle and downstairs at our house where, they, where we lived with them. It was my father's parents. And she'd make the boiled candy and she'd hide it and she'd come out to visit and my brothers would go around the other way and see. <laughs> and I remember she would have shredded coconut and the coconut would be just like hanging out of it when you but that was boiled candy and it was like nothing but sugar and milk and butter and it was really sweet right but this is a recipe that I've been making I would say for 30 years and my friend gave it to me. I grew up next door to her, but she lives in St. John's now, one of the Burke girls, Mary. So she makes it and I make it. And it has flour in it, flour goes in it. So it cuts down a bit on the sweetness. And even if you make white, or like you leave out the cocoa, you still add flour, right? And it cuts down on the sweetness a little bit. So. That's it. Now we wait for it to come to a boil. And so how long do you boil it for? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Then you take it out and we'll add uh, vanilla, a third of a cup of flour, and some coconut. Mm. And you put it in the pan and put it in the fridge and wait like five minutes if you're impatient, like I am. <laughs> and you can cut it while it's still warm or, you know, so... We gotta wait for it to boil. So now what are we what are we at here now? Okay, so now I'm just gonna let it boil for another like 20 seconds. Yeah. Although I gotta turn it off, it's not gonna bother to turn it off. Uh, just to make sure. And how do you know it's done? Uh, it has that look to <laughs> <laughs> it's you, you know from experience. She's got the look. Yeah. So yeah, like I uh, I haven't written in a long time now, but like for Fela, I wrote an opening song that I perform every year. Mm -hmm. uh, I've written poetry, I've written a song that people really like and that kind of ties together our community, uh, our home and our home in Ireland, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's just something that people like to do. Okay. Okay, so what's the next step? Next step. You got your flour. Now you might have to get on the other side. Yep. Me. Now do you have to work fast or? Uh, I try. I don't wash very much. So some vanilla. You know, I'm not using a spoon. And I use the whisk now because it combines the flour without it getting lumpy third of a cup of flour 
And sometimes you you make it and it mightn't turn out the way, you know, it should. You might have to add another little bit of flour. Like I might have to add another little bit now. Or you might have to beat it a little bit, which you don't normally have to do. So I'm going to get, because I know it's not thickening much. So right. you're looking for a certain consistency, yes. are you? Yes. So I'm going to put in some coconut, like so. And I'm going to get another little bit of flour right here. Whew. This is like, I can make this. <clears throat> And it can be gone <laughs> in three days. If I'm really good, it can be gone in three days. So they'll try not to eat it. But when Siobhan was home, living home, going to school, oh my God, I'd make it for friends. Oh. Now, are you going by uh, feel or look when, uh, when you know it's thick enough? Both, both. you know, both. But what I'll do, yeah, it's pretty good. So it's starting to thicken up there now. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. So I might give it a little beat. And yeah, it's good. Up, 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 up. That's going to be finger licking good in a minute. Okay. And okay, we'll go over here. You see the consistency? Yeah. You see how it's sticking to the sides? Right. That means it's it's good. So, oops. So and you I'm, have a you have a pan prepared. I have a pan prepared. I have a little bit of grease on it, a little bit of the cell butter again. Yeah. And uh, a little bit of coconut on the bottom. And you bring over the bag of coconut, and we'll shake a little bit on top also. Oh, I should have it the other way towards you, That's shouldn't fine. I? I hope it will thicken up good. So you'll refrigerate that now? Yep. And how long will you refrigerate oh, it, for? Oh, it shouldn't take long, you know, half an hour, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it's very hot. Best I've made in a while. Hmm. That's my help. I know. <laughs> yes, you got the touch today. And everyone, everyone uh, that knows me knows how much I like sweets. Unfortunately for me, I like sweets. Okay, and then you get your extra, Oops. Oh, your extra coconut. Extra coconut on the top. Pat, 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 pat. Okay. And that's and it. Put it in the, in the, in the fridge. Find a place to put it. And uh, let it cool for at least a half an hour. And uh, 